Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a BTS inspired DIY for you. I was scrolling through Instagram and I looked through my folder where I saved all these DIY inspirations because I haven't done a proper DIY in a while. Because I'm uni and I'm having exams and all that stuff that's going on. So I'm sorry. Anyway, and I came across three pictures that I thought it would be pretty easy to do by yourself and they are things that BTS wear on a regular basis. And the first item is this check flannel shirt from Fear of God. And all you need is a check flannel shirt, obviously, some scissors and tweezers. First you need to cut one sleeve off and then put the rest of the cut sleeve on top of the other sleeve to make sure you cut it evenly. And next you need to use the tweezers to make the sleeve look a little messy. And it's that easy to do this $400 flannel shirt yourself. The next item is this Tom Brown shirt with four stripes on the sleeve. And for this you'll need a blue shirt, some white ribbons, fabric glue, some scissors and something to put the glue on on top of the ribbon. And if you want to make sure the buttons look more fancy you can paint them with waterproof pen and I later realized that the nail polish will probably come off in the washing machine so maybe don't use it. First you need to measure and cut four ribbon stripes. And next, put some glue on top and put it on top of the shirt carefully. Repeat with all stripes, leaving a small gap in between. And if you want to, you can also paint the buttons to give it a better look. The original cost around $800 and the DIY version was a lot less than that, so that's a win for us. And for the third DIY you'll need a white shirt, olive green fabric paint, cardboard, a brush and pencil and maybe some extra fabric or paper towel. First I recommend to draw the letters with a pen and then later paint over it. I made sure to get rid of the excess paint on the brush to achieve that messy look. And this DIY cost around $15 compared to the $400 Visvim shirt. I really hope you enjoyed these DIYs. Again, I'm sorry for not posting DIYs that regularly, but they take a lot of time and I want to do stuff that makes sense and that looks good. And so I need some time for that, but I will be back as soon as I can. Make sure to give it a like and to subscribe if you like my content and I'm gonna leave some other videos here that you can also check out. That would mean the world to me and I hope to see you very soon. Bye!